A lot of people talk about getting leads in real estate all the time, right? But the honest truth is, if you don't organize them correctly, you'll end up wasting time, wasting money, and a lot of deals are just gonna fall through the cracks. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what my team uses to stay on top of things, keep leads organized, and make sure deals don't fall through the pipeline. So with that being said, let's dive into my computer and show you exactly how I keep my leads organized. All right, so we are in my CRM. And for those that don't know, like I'm super transparent about what I'm using. And right now I'm currently using RE Simply. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want a discount. If you don't wanna pay for a CRM, hey, that's good. You know, save your money, that's all good. Um, you can also use like Google Spreadsheets, you know, if you're new. Um, Podio, I believe, has a free version of a CRM that you can use, but I highly recommend you get a CRM. You want to make sure you're on top of things. And I mean, this is what this video is about, you know, following up, staying on top of things, staying organized so that deals don't fall through the, the cracks there. But this is what it looks like if a lead just came in the pipeline. So this lead came in five hours ago, right? Um, we can see the timer going off. So one of the team members got to follow up with them ASAP, right? But this came from cold calling. So with our cold calling system, literally once, um, one of our callers marks the lead as a lead, it goes into our CRM automatically. So um, this is literally what we would do. So once a lead comes into our system, we take this link and I just have to download it. I'll go back here and then I'll add it into files. Put it into our files over here. Let me just move that. And I'll drop it in there. What I just do, just so the team knows, that's like the initial cold call. So we can listen to this, whoever's you know hitting this lead first, we'll click on this, the audio will pop up so we can hear you know how that conversation went with that previous lead, but we also have some notes, or sometimes we have notes, sometimes we don't, so it's good to you know listen to that recording there. Um, task. It will show like, okay, it's a new, new lead discovery call. It's time to hit this lead up. So all that we would do is we would go over here, we go to actions and then we would make this call and then we would literally make the call. And honestly, just because we haven't hit this lead up. Oh no, actually, I think my team members calling them right now because the green line is, I was about to call them, but all right. So that's that we would literally just make the call, click call send a message to send a message. I, I'll be honest, I haven't done direct mail with RE Simply yet, so I'm not really sure how that uh, will perform. Um, now, if this is a hot lead, we'll mark it as hot. Right now, we're not even sure if it's a hot lead, right? So it really just depends on the motivation of the lead. And what we focus on a lot is the urgency of the lead. Now, let's say um, one of the team members, they got through to the lead, they got the information like the urgency, um, the ballpark price, the motivation, the condition, all that information. And then it's like, all right, we can move that over to contact made. We do phone appointments, so we could put it for appointment set. Due diligence phase, you know, if we're running numbers, this is the time where we're, you know, getting comps for the property. If we do have to have someone go out and look at the property, and then we have offers made, we have under contract, so once we go, we send out the offer to uh, the seller, get that signed, and then we're, we're under contract. And then we also have warm lead, refer to agent, dead lead, inventory if we are keeping the property. So if we're using it as like a fix and flip or a rental, and then sold will go under our transactions. You know, let's say we're doing a wholesale deal, a novation, double close, assignment. So it literally brings us through every single step of the process. And I would go over here, like if we go to active leads, you'll see a whole bunch of leads, but I don't wanna, <laughs> I can't expose all our all the properties we're working on, right? Now the nice thing about this is like, which I'll show you, this is just a new lead. I'll show you a lead that was completed. You can see like communications where it will just show the phone calls between us and the seller. Um, notes will just only show the notes portion and then communication and notes will show all of it. And then all will show like the task and everything like that, like everything that has been completed with um, this lead. 
Now, you can also use eSign. I think I used it once a while back, but I like dot loop when I'm sending stuff out uh, for, for agreements and stuff since I'm also an agent, so it helps that way. But you can also use the eSign feature. But literally after this, so when we do move like a task from, I'm not gonna change it now because he's on a call currently, but when we do move it over to like a different segment, a different part, then we have new tasks that automatically pop up. So it literally keeps us on board of what we need to do. And let's say we need to do something specific where it says, even if it was just like, uh, order order and inspection right like if we have to order an inspection uh, we can put that under you know due diligence you can put it under other however you want to label it as go down here assign it to whoever need, it needs to be assigned to put the priority we can set that up for let's say we need to order the inspection tomorrow and then um once I click who I wanted to assign to, then I'll, I'll be able to create that task. So that's that. That's how like, you know, with new leads, how we just make sure we knock it out, how we also make sure we're staying on top of everything with that. But let me go to one that has been completed. And this is a portion where like, if the lead hasn't been qualified, like if we weren't able to get all the information with motivation and urgency and stuff, then we're not gonna check this because this lead is not fully qualified. We wanna make sure it's qualified. So if it is, then I would check this button and it would turn green instead of red. So let's go over to this, this property here. So this is a lead back in April 28th. It closed May, it closed, when did it close? Back in June. So it took some time, but this was the full on setup. We had the lead info. We have it as sold because the property did sell. This was a double close through cold calling. So one of the callers got this lead. Um, owner is selling property for 25K, three bed, two bath. Property needs some work since there's no upgrades to be made. We have the call recording so we can click it here. Um, property is currently vacant. Owner can sell ASAP. He bought it for her mother, but she's not around. So he wants to sell. So we're just literally just adding the notes of what needs to be done, right? I said, ask if he thought about keeping it as a rental, uh, cause you just never know. We wanna get through those roadblocks at the beginning so that at the end of the conversation, when we're about to make that offer, that roadblock doesn't pop back up. Like we wanna make sure everything is out the way before we you know, move forward with making that offer. So that's why we're asking those, those questions there. But yeah, literally just messaging, we'll call, message, call, message, add the notes, have it as a wholetail at 50K, purchase at MAO, and MAO means maximum allowable offer for 25K. So that means we can't go over this. Like this is our maximum allowable offer we can do. We have safer option to get for 25K and wholesale do a double close at 35. Because if we do a wholesale deal, that means we actually own the property. Whereas a wholesale deal, that means we don't own the property, we just have equitable rights to the agreement, to that contract. So it's just less risk. There's no risk really with wholesaling. So here's just the, it's a mobile home. So here's all the numbers that, you know, all the notes we have um, that we would wanna tell the end buyer, you know, all that information. We got the dog fees up in there. We had the task, task reminder. So the task reminder comes from us making those tasks. Over here, you can see there's 20 completed tasks of all the stuff that was done, all the stuff we needed to do. 20 completed, zero pending because it's closed. Now, go down here, we're now under contract. The price was 25,000, EMD, 100 bucks. Guys, you can literally do a $100 EMD. We've done it all the time. We probably get pushback. I don't even know, like very little, very little, unless someone brings up, I want my attorney to look at it. Okay, then we'll get some pushback. But usually $100 EMD, pay all closing costs. Next step, find cash buyers, add videos to the Google Drive so we can send it out easily. Under contract price, 25K, put it out for 38.5. And then 
just making sure each time, like we gotta go find a buyer, we gotta go find a buyer. So making sure we add that task in. Over here, we showed that, okay, we got someone to sign the JV agreement and we have to do it slightly different um, in PA just because of the new laws and everything like that. So you just wanna make sure you're aware of that. Going down here, just making sure that we're adding tasks to stay connected with the title company, making sure we're on top of things with title, like, okay, are they moving forward with the process? Is there any documentation that we need to get, that the seller needs to get, that the buyer needs to get? Because honestly, we're just the middleman trying to push the whole process along to get to closing. So that's why we gotta stay on top of it. And you gotta stay on top of things to make sure that deals don't fall through. Because even though you get a deal under contract, even though that buyer signs that assignment agreement or whatever, that doesn't mean you get paid. You only get paid once the deal closes. So you always gotta push for that, push for that closing. So um, right here, confirm we're all good to close next week for the property. And then make sure the 13,500 hits the account. Make sure everyone gets their commission. And lastly, as we close. So shows that sold, we were able to get this deal from start to finish in the pipeline. And that's how we stay on top of things, you know? Also had a task in here to like reach out to the owner to have them write a review because reviews also help your company to grow. On Facebook, you know, on just all social media pages, on Google. So you wanna make sure you're on top of it, not only on just like the front end of things, but also the back end of things with social media. Cause I literally got a lead call probably like two hours ago. They found our information just from our website, right? And we post on social media, post on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. So don't underestimate those platforms. Make sure you're posting on everything. Make sure you're, you're having that good brand presence online because people are gonna look you up to make sure you're not a scam. And yeah, I would say that, but Ari Simply is a great platform to stay organized. This is not no promotional video. I'm just showing you exactly what I use. And like I said, if you want to use them, just comment down below. Actually in the description, there will be a, uh, a discount link for you. But yeah, that is it for this video. It looks like it's not, it's not hard. It's really not hard to stay organized as long as you have the right platform. Now, if you do go for a cheaper, the cheaper route, whether that is Podio or um, the free version of Podio, because I know the advanced version of Podio, you can do a lot of autom um, what is it? Oh, uh, like just autom autom. Wait, what? I'm speaking too fast. Just like getting things in order, <laughs> you can do a lot. Um, you can do a lot on that side of things. Of what's the word I'm looking for? Autom auto um dang i forget the word y'all know what i mean you all know what i mean but um just making sure everything is in place with that so but if you go the free route you're gonna have to just step up your game even more it's not gonna be as easy as re simply is with you know adding the task to do this and that but I hope this video helped you. Uh, if it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch a video on the total expenses that it takes to run my real estate business each month, then you're gonna wanna make sure you watch this video next.